Hello there, it's another edition of Dateline Lagos. On this edition, Lagos State Governor Akumi Ambodi seeks more support from Lagosians to deliver a safe and more secure city as he owes residents to the third quarter town hall meeting in 2017. Governor Ambodi calls for additional police commands in Lagos State to tackle kidnapping and other criminal activities on the waterways. Lagos Public Works Corporation unveils roadmap to fix potholes and tackle flooding in the state. Also on the program, we'll take a look at sexual violence in Nigeria and its growing concern over the spate of the assault on minors. Welcome, I'm Loretta Chiogo. Let's begin with infrastructure development. The proposed expansion and reconstruction of the Oshodi International Airport Road, the construction of 181 inner roads, and the Cleaner Lagos Initiative were major points of discussion at the recent Lagos Town Hall meeting held in Badori, Etiosa local government area. Governor Ambode gave an assurance that these projects will be the focus of his administration next month. <laughs> The third edition of the Lagos Town Hall meeting in 2017 returned to Atusa and the central sanitary zone of the state. The attendants include members of the State Executive Council, lawmakers, community leaders, religious and traditional leaders, market men and women, youth leaders, representatives of professional associations, among others. When fully implemented, these buses... It's a platform for Governor Akimu Miambodi to render his stewardship the progress made in fulfilling its electoral promises as well as get feedback on how its administration can improve its services. Governor Ambode did not spend much time to outline his achievement in the previous quarter. Rather, he dwelt on some of the projects that would be carried out in this quarter, most of which are road and transport infrastructure. New modern bus terminals will be constructed in Marina. As you can see, the work is already on. And then the Aja, just by the flyover, where we used to have the lay by, and then the place we have covered where those uh, vehicles are, we are going to turn it into a bus terminal so that we can link up from that bus terminal and allow buses to take us from this Badore jetty to that Aja bus terminal and then out or to either CMS or to a depending on where we want to go. We're going to do it in Ojota, then Agege, Idru Ishaga, and then Yanopaja. And then, like we said, we intend to introduce BRT between that uh, Aja bus term terminal and this particular point here. Other projects scheduled to take effect from September include the expansion and reconstruction of the Oshudi International Airport Road, the construction of 181 local government roads, and the Cleaner Lagos Initiative. By the grace of God, we will commence the construction of the Oshudi International Airport Road by next month, and that's a 10 year road, which we have already awarded. Our Cleaner Lagos Initiative will start in full swing next month, that's September. And in Lagosians, will experience a new dimension in sanitation, waste, solid collection, and disposal. We have commenced the removal of the Lagos structures, hindering drainage and free flow of water in the metropolis. You see, also just few days before, we've done some work in Obalende. We need to clean up Obalende, and that's the truth, because that's part of the problem that we're having along the uh, five carry channels. And the, the, the better we do it now, so that I mean, we don't need to have that same kind of challenge next year or whatever. We shall no longer tolerate any breach of our environmental laws and regulations. Questions and concerns from residents bordered on the state government plan on flood control, the rehabilitation of inner roads and the upgrade of existing ones, as well as provision of more health facilities in the area. I want to appeal to His Excellency, the Governor of Lagos State, that it should help us to dualize the Ibeju to a pair access because this road always claims a lot of lives. In Etiosa, starting from Obalindi down to Shongo Tedo, we have no general hospital, except we want to go to Lagos Island or Ibeju. 
you know, between Lekki and, and, and Ireland, there's no general hospital or a public general hospital in that axis. And the government is seriously concerned about putting that in place. You also made mention of the deteriorating state of the Lekki Epe Road. So I need to explain this to you. From the Brahmaji Sonia roundabout to Eleko Junction, which is almost about 32 kilometers, we cannot do what we have been doing from Ozuba and Badway to that roundabout in terms of costs. Because this cost is also driven by the taxes that are paid by Lagosians. And we cannot afford to put all the revenue to just road construction. So what we have decided is that we will put, we will rehabilitate the road, which is 32 kilometers. We will put street lights and also put stairs, so that people will not be just driving recklessly. While the state government promises to continue to play its part to deliver a Lagos that works for all, it says it will require more support and cooperation of taxpaying residents to continue to fulfill their obligations.